Hi, and welcome to the next part in the Operation Alpha uh, Motivation and Mindset series. So in this video, I am going to uh, cover the topic of making the choice to do what's necessary. And obviously in this sense, it's about uh, achieving your health and fitness goals. So uh, doing what, nece what is necessary, that generally uh, is boiling down to obviously the daily tasks and, and rituals surrounding uh, training, getting your nutrition on point, uh, you know, maybe optimizing your sleep and all the other parts of um, healthy living that are all part of the equation of obviously um, changing your physique and optimizing your health. Um, but obviously, as we know, it's not always that simple and that easy. And a lot of the time, People will make up uh, or, or will come out with reasons um, why it's not possible or plausible for them to do that. And if you think about, you know, uh, your average punter these days, um, generally very uh, busy and time poor, repeatedly what you will normally hear from people is, uh, you know, these two uh, reasons. <clears throat> One being, I'm too busy. Or conversely, it's too much effort, or sometimes both. Uh, and you know, these are like the two most common reasons that are given. Now, the thing about these two statements is, uh, before we get into the ins and outs of whether these are correct or not, is ultimately it's the narrative that the person has created around this situation. And whether a narrative is right or wrong, it's the most compelling thing that a person will have in terms of their perception of what they're about to do, because it's the story you're telling yourself um, about what is involved in um, doing the thing that, um, you know, is, is uh, under discussion. So obviously, you know, what we need to be doing is questioning this narrative. So if you're saying that you're too busy or you're saying that it's too much effort, you know, are you really too busy? Um, and is it really too much effort or is that just the story that you've created around the situation? Now, if you can think through this constructively um, and really pick it apart and even after having done that, you say, yes, you are too busy or yes, it is too much effort. Well, then you've got to make a choice because if that's the case, then you have to give up on achieving your health and fitness goals. Yeah. And so. Uh, that should be fairly obvious because obviously you can't have both. You can't be too busy and have a situation where the, um, achieving your health and fitness goals is too much effort, but still want to achieve them because obviously logically that's not going to happen. So if that's the case, you're gonna to have to let go. You're gonna to have to decide, I'm going to stay the way that I am and I'm not going to change. However, if you can't let go of your health and fitness goals, if it's still something that feels so important to you, then you need to consider changing the narrative that you have created. I'm too busy, it's too much effort. Um, because you gotta think, are you really too busy? Is it really too much effort? Or is that just the narrative? And is it possible to change the narrative to one that's going to be more supportive of what you want to achieve and is possibly even more rooted in reality. And well, yeah, I would suggest that it is. So as an example, the narrative, the, the, the reason that's given, I'm too busy, you could change this to busy people prove that it can be done. So I can do it too. If uh, the reason or the narrative is it's too much effort, you could change that narrative to not making the effort is causing me too much pain. Knowing what the rewards are is too enticing for me to not do this. Yeah, so you can very easily see how, you know, it's all about perception and the narrative you're creating. And you can change it to something that's a lot more likely to get you moving towards your goal and you know, ultimately is going to be more compelling and uh, lead to a situation where you actually start to believe that it's plausible. And if you think about it as well, which of these statements actually seems like more of a fact? What seems more factually correct? Are you really too busy? Or is it true that very, very busy people consistently prove that it can be done? And if that's the case, can you do it too? 
is it really too much effort or is the pain of not doing it worse? And, you know, knowing what the rewards can be, um, obviously, is that something that's still attractive to you? Is it still something that you want to have in your life? So this is what you can think about and what you can, uh, you know, the process that you can go through. Now, if after all of that, you then decide, you know what, I do want to do this. Well, then it's time to make it happen, right? It's time to make it happen. And the good thing to understand as well over here, making it happen is not about going to war. It's not about making huge amounts of effort and, uh, you know, um, something that's really extreme. It's actually much in the same way that you are with your job. It's about getting organized. Yeah, it's about getting very, very organized, about creating systems and maybe even reminders around the stuff that you need to do, having a plan and then just consistently sticking to the plan, just like you would do with your work. OK, so I'll wrap that up there. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, you can email me at wolfpack at operation-alpha.com. Cheers.